Yeah, so last night I get out my car. I'm all gonna work. I'll get a sucky clip of it. Uh, I get out, and of course, there's loud music. Two young guys with, I guess, a boom box or whatever their phone, loud, at, loud music in the, uh, the stairwell. So, um, come to find out the owner and his parents were there for some reason. I don't know why, but they were there. So I said, hey, I said to the owner, you want to go tell those guys playing that loud music in the stairwell and it's kind of late to be doing that? Yeah, I, I'll talk to, to Tony about it, who Tony was trying to check in somebody who the credit card was declined, so he didn't get checked in, so she was fooling with somebody. But I'm thinking, you're the owner of the damn place. You know, and you're a man. Go over there and, and say, hey, you know, um, who are you? How rude are you? There's other people staying here. It's 11 o'clock. Very, very foggy weather this morning down here in southern Louisiana. Everything's wet, wet. So, if I, of course, I go in there and within the first 30 minutes, I got a noise call from one of the regulars that have stayed here, contracted work. So, I go up there, bang on the door, and I guess they heard me banging on the door. The people I complained to, and the girl, the lady's like, yeah. He's playing this loud music and it smells like nothing but weed up in here. I said, I know. The owners are aware of it and they don't do nothing about it. So that was the end of that. So I thought the night was going to be crap from the jump because I had to go bang on somebody's door to get them to turn down their music. So anyway, today, Saturday, I am going to vote no to a projected casino in this area. So live on the north side of Lake Pontchartrain. New Orleans being 30 minutes across the lake. And what's going to happen is, other than killing small businesses, it will do that. It'll hurt them. Other than that, it's going to bring nothing but crime and freaking traffic over here. So one of my friends put on Facebook, she says, all you people going to vote no, I better not see y'all up in there eating that buffet or going to any of the attractions over there. Because supposedly, it's going to be some sort of uh, theater where people put on concerts, a lazy river, which I love. She just had me thinking about it a little differently this morning, thinking, okay, I'm going to be a big hypocrite and vote no for this thing. But I'll probably try the buffet, I'm not going to lie. I think that... Even though the people are voting for it, I think that it's going to happen, whether we voted in or voted out. You know, we just live in that, that world. I mean, you know, look at the election, so the presidential election. There's just ways of getting around that. I think it's all about the almighty dollar, you know, and they got a campaign going on over here against it. But my brother brought up a good point. Who's funding that? Probably the people in Mississippi that have these casinos near us that know that the New Orleans people, even though there is a casino there also, the New Orleans people, instead of heading over to Mississippi, will just stop on their way to Mississippi across the lake. Boom, right there. But just so happens the hotel I work at is right on that same exit, and that's another thing, too. I mean, you're looking at probably the minimum of at least two years to build it, I would assume a, a complex of that size. I guess they would open it in phases. So probably the casino part would probably open in like a year. But, I mean, we kind of a bedroom community over here that a lot of people after Katrina moved over and now we got this big high-tech outdoor mall. We've just grown so much. And I mean, whether it comes or not, doesn't totally bother me because I want to move to Mississippi and have some land. I don't want to live in a neighborhood anymore. I'm tired of that. I'm tired of having neighbors close next to me. I want to be able to park a camper, park my boat, not being right next to anybody and live in that kind of life. But anyway, um, so this morning also at about, I don't know, maybe about six o'clock in the morning, somebody 
Everybody's wanting four rooms. Check out at 11. It's 6 o'clock in the morning, so the computer system actually switched over everything. I'm like, look, call me back in five minutes, and I'll tell you what I got. I said, we, we already working on the next day. And, I mean, I don't get that. I mean, you could sleep in your car at a rest area. I have done this before versus paying a hundred, almost $170 to sleep for a couple of hours. And they're not very big on late checkouts because, you know, that keeps the housekeeping there. They don't want to be there longer than they have to. They don't want to be waiting on you to check out to go clean that room. So anyway, I am going to head over to one of my favorite restaurants to have breakfast. I get an eggs benedict. It's delicious. And I have to vote, which I already forgot. And I gotta pick up Madison. So, but that is it. Till tomorrow.